For our team coverage of this weather alert, though, continues right now with our Chris Holmstrom. Chris, what's your location and what are you seeing right now? Jeff and Jennifer, I'm out here on West Burnside. What of the trouble spots in our area? Now, right now, the roads are looking okay, but as Kristen mentioned, once those temperatures drop, the roads are sure to be slick. Tonight, Germantown Road is back open, but not before the snow left a big mess. Snow plows taking over the West Hills. This video taken on Germantown Road after a few dozen cars were all stuck spinning out and some crashing into the ditch. The dangerous conditions forcing the city to close it. Linda Lovett lives in the area. Happens a lot. And as the traffic has gotten so much worse in the last uh, couple of years, it's not surprising to me that there were a lot of cars in the ditch today because uh, there's just 10 times as much traffic as there was three, four years ago. But people who use this road or other roads higher in elevation are not out of the woods. Of course, I'm always concerned about the freezing temperatures. And that's exactly what's in the forecast. We reached out to ODOT and Peabot, and they tell us they are monitoring the roads, but have this warning for drivers. Due to the rain that we've had, we have not had the ability to apply any anti-icing materials. The dry weather on Tuesday and Wednesday will allow us to do that, but travelers in the meantime should watch out for slick spots. Both agencies will continue to monitor the roads into the night, but aside from roads, the winter-like weather is also impacting jobs. Oh, they just don't want us to come in. They're Anthony like, Lott is a roofer and says these conditions make it impossible to work in. Yeah, early in the morning, everything's icy. Roofs are icy. You can't even repair them because the shingles turn to glass and you try to take them off and they just break. And again, if you plan on driving in areas with a higher elevation, use caution and, of course, snow tires and chains are always a good idea. And as you mentioned, it is starting to get chilly out here. Reporting live from Southwest Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. All right, thanks for the update, Chris.